In this vid, I'll be opening up the three new black and white theme deck boxes. We've got Red Frenzy, Blue Assault, and Green Tornado. As you can tell, these are the three starter Pokemon, the stage two evolutions of them, um, from the new black and white games. And uh, they changed a little bit up about how these uh, decks, what, what comes in these decks, I guess. Um, you no longer get the booster pack per deck which kind of bummed me out because I buy the packs, or I buy these decks, simply for the promo. But it is kind of nice to get that extra pack in there as a chance to kind of get my money's worth. Um, so I'm kind of sad that they didn't do that. But I'm hoping maybe they'll bring that back with the um, next set's theme decks. And maybe they just did it with this one just so they could release them early. Um, this set isn't going to be released officially for another few weeks. Um, so pre-releases don't start for another few weeks as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's go ahead and just go with the one in the middle. Um, blue Assault. Oh, and if you notice, my laptop is up in the background, so I apologize if the light from that is distracting. Um, but I am uploading many, many vids right now, so I didn't want to shut the computer down um, and risk losing all of that transfer. So, Blue Assault. Um, another weird thing about this is that it no longer comes in the shrink wrap. Um, so, yeah, I guess... The best way to get into this without causing too much damage to the box is maybe going along the side. Oh, and if you want to see the back, there's a little description of what's, um, the deck list, and then of course your standard spiel for, for the set. Alright. Well, let's see. Alright, we've got damage counters, per, uh, burn counter, and poison counter, still sealed. The play mat, which I'll fold out in a bit. We have several rule changes in the uh, black and white series for those of us that play the game. So some cards that have uh, been eroded. Um, you can do new things on your first turn. They've changed the card types around. And um, yeah, so that's kind of cool that they tell the list here. And then we have a checklist on the back. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, I'm tempted to use this to keep track of the cards that um, I have. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and use this as a checklist, considering I have two other ones, and I can always put them up for trade um, if anyone else is interested in them. But uh, this will be a really nice way to keep track of what I have and what I don't have. And uh, it even, I think, I, oh, I kind of like that it has a uh, little box for the standard set or the um, standard foil set. And it's got another one for parallel set. Are there... Huh. But those symbols are the same. So there's just two versions of the set, or should be. All right, so there's the checklist. Comes with a box. I wish these were a little bit bigger so they could fit the, um, the decks when sleeved. Um, that way I would actually use them. But as it stands, the only way um, the cards can fit in the box is if they're unsleeved. All right, so there's the cards. Before I show those, though, we get a coin. Okay, there it is. Kind of hard to tell. But there's also, yeah, it's, it's the three starter Pokemon um, in their basic forms. And yeah, Oshawott, Snivy, and uh, Tepig. We also have the Trainer Challenge card. Um, so now you can play Pokemon online. And uh, this card, as it says, gives you access to this deck for play and the Pokemon TCG Online Trainer Challenge. The code is on the back. I'm not going to show the code just because if anyone is interested in um, using the code, I don't think I'll be using it. So um, I don't know if it's really worth anything, but maybe I can get something for it. Um, so if you want to play this deck on the TCG trading site but don't want to go and spend you know, it's like 10 or 12 bucks for the deck, um, Maybe we can work, work something out. And here's the whole reason why I pretty much bought the set. Is for the Samurott Crystal Shard promo. 
So it's pretty cool. Stage two. All right, now let's unfold the play mat. Because this is a little bit different than the ones that they we usually get. All right, so we've got all the rules on the back. Card types, how to start a game, what you can do on every turn, and then how you win. Then on this side, got Reshiram and Zekram, if I'm saying those right. So I'm wondering if this is going to be the same for every black and white box. Um, it's considering the the mat has really nothing to do with the the water and electric um, type deck that's actually well that's the deck. Okay, so let's go ahead and show the cards. So they don't really sort them. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad, but that's um they have a way of teaching new players to train, so they put them in a specific order. So we'll have to go through them one by one. So, lightning energy, which I think, yeah, even the, the style of the energy has changed up a bit. Um, see, do what? Revive? That's kind of cool. You don't have to flip a coin or anything. Oshawott? Pidov? Panpour, the water type? Basculin? Simipore, Tranquil, Ducklet, that's one I haven't seen in the games yet, Potion, um, now heals 30, so it's a little bit better, Joltik, Unpheasant, and this is a rare, um, curious to, actually I can look it up right now to see if it's usually a hollow in the set, so maybe something I'm interested in to keep it for my collection, and this is typically just a non-hollow rare, so. Pokeball, Oshawa, Galvantula, and this is also a rare, which is also usually a, a non hollow rare as well. Energy Search, Dewat, Professor Juniper, um, this is a pretty cool card. Discard your hand and then draw seven cards. Blitzel, Energy Retrieval, Pidov, Swana, that's kind of cool looking. Um, this is a rare, number 37. So this is typically also a non-hollow rare as well. Revive, Panpour, Semipour, Basculin, Oshawa. So it looks like we've kind of gone through most of them. Ah, here's Samurott. Also a rare. And I'm thinking this is probably going to be a normal hollow. Yep, this is going typically a hollow in the set. So a non-hollow here, which means I can put this in my collection as a uh, theme deck promo. Panpour, Ducklet, Pokeball, Joltik, Professor Juniper, Tranquil, Energy Retrieval, Duat, Potion, Pidov, Oshawott, Energy Search, Blitzel, and that's it for that deck. All right. So, that is the Blue Assault theme deck. Um, next up, let's go with the Green Tornado deck. And again, we'll just open it from the side. Actually, this one came apart much easier. Here we've got the damage counters. And yep, it looks like the mat is the same as the other one with just Reshiram and Zekram. So that's kind of sad. You don't get different mats. Um, another checklist with the new rule changes. Here's the um, deck box. Pretty cool if you don't use your, your, use your sleeves. Very convenient. The coin. So, yeah, again, we have the same design as the other one, the three starter Pokemon. 
um, but this one is green. All the coins are up for trade, by the way. I don't use coins, I prefer the dice. The Trainer Challenge card. Um, again, I'm not going to show the code on the back, just in case anyone is interested in using it. I'm not sure if you can use codes a uh, repeated amount of times, or if it's just kind of a one-time use thing. And then the promo card, the Crystal Shard Hollow Super Superior. Pretty cool. And on to the deck. So it looks like this is going to be a Psychic and Grass deck. Professor Juniper. Audina. No, that's just uncommon. Superior. Um, started off with that one pretty fast. Um, this is a rare and most likely a rare hollow in the set. Yep, so this is this is a non-hollow rare. This is also a theme deck promo, so I'll put that aside for my collection. Pokemon Communication. That's kind of some di uh, cool different artwork. Snivy. Whirlipede. Pokeball. Servine. Petalil, Energy Retrieval, Muna, Revive, Patrat, Potion, Misharna, and Misharna is a rare and is a typically non hollow rare. Deerling, Snivy, Pansage, the grass type, Servine, Venipede, Energy Search, Audino, Revive, Snivy, Scolipede, that's pretty cool looking. This is also a rare, and I'm thinking the trend, yep, another, what would typically be a non holo rare as well. Juniper, Petalil, Communication, Whirlipede, Muna, Patrat, Pansage, Energy Retrieval, Snivy, Ooh, Saw's Buck. That's pretty cool. That's one that I haven't seen in the game yet. And this is a rare as well. Potion. Servine. Pokeball. Venipede. Energy Search. Deerling. And Grass Energy. So it is cool that you get a few rares. Um, in these theme decks. And let's go ahead and finish up with the last one. Red Frenzy. And this one features Embor. And this one's going to be a little bit more stubborn to open up just like the first one. I'm trying not to cause too much damage to the actual box. Um, I think the boxes are pretty cool looking. And uh, you never know who might want one one day. Alright, so. Same old. Damage counters. Still sealed. Same uh, play mat. Rules change. The coin. The three starter Pokemon, but in red. Trainer Challenge card. And the Embor Crystal Shard Hollow promo. Then we've got the, the deck box. All right. Tepig. Pig Knight. Sin Sinchino. And this is a rare. And I'm assuming this is a non hollow rare as well, since the other ones. Yep. I don't think there's too many hollows in this set. Juniper. <clears throat> Lillipup. Communication. That's cool. Darmatin. Also a rare. And, yep, this is typically a non hollow rare as well. Retrieval. Pansier, the fire type, Herdier, Switch, Timber, Darumaka, Tepig, 
Energy Search. Ooh, Simisir. Michino. Uh, Revive. Lillipup. Darumaka. Stoutland. Wow. Um, also a rare. I don't know, just fat dog seems funny to me. Juniper. Pig Knight. Pansier. Retrieval. Tepig. Herdier. Communication. Embor. Lillipup. Revive. Timber. Darumata. Simisir. Switch. Pig Knight. Pansier. Mancino. Tepig. Energy Search. Darumaka. And Two Fire. Um, did I not... I must have gone right by the Embor, the non-hollow Embor. So, I guess I rushed a little bit too much in that one. Let's see. There it is. Yeah, so this one is another theme deck promo, so it'll be going into my collection. There we go. Cool looking card. And that's it for the three new black and white theme deck boxes.